Got a little bit of redneck engineering going on here to mess with this trans mount. Engine hoist as a lift. It's not stupid if it works. Look at these beautiful, tremendous engine mounts. The best engine mounts you have ever seen. They're getting cut out. Uh, I gotta redo this. The steering rack has to move back, back by the oil pan here, in order for the geometry to be worth a shit at all. So I'm making the steering arm work here. Uh, it's gonna be about four inches from the ball joint pivot uh, to get my geometry right, which means it's gotta be like back right where this mount is. So the engine mounts have to come out and do something different. So I think what I'm gonna do is make them hook to the frame rail here like I originally wanted to and didn't think I would have the room to do and make work. Uh, I've got another plan now. Here's some new eBay mounts. So this is supposed to go to the engine itself and bolt on. Mine are offset and they need the offset to clear the headers. But I'm just going to cut these off and then use box tubing welded between here for my new engine mounts. On this side, I'm going to drill a hole so this captured nut is inside the frame rail. Weld this baby in, then I can do a brace to my new bracket that mounts to the old transmission mount here. Then on this side, I'm doing the engine plate, same thing. I'm going to weld nuts on the back side of here, drill holes in the frame rail so they're captured inside, and then grind this off flush and use this as a plate that my mount is going to bolt to on here because the mounts have to be able to come out uh, so that I can raise the body off the engine itself. Okay, I got my plate ready here. This is all ready. Weld that sucker in. And then the same thing on the other side here. Okay, plate is all buzzed in. The secondary plate is bolted to it. That's what the engine mount's going to hook to. And then over here we've got our upper mount, which is going to keep this one from rocking. Sorry Mr. Chinaman, I just cut off your welds here. So this one was going to be in the way of the steering rack. Plus, it's going to be a lot easier, well, I don't know about easier, but better to have this 90 come down for the car all in one piece and have the flange here. Because i got to have a disconnect here anyway. I don't want to have two flanges, there's places to leak. I'd rather just have the one here and call it good. Okay, I got this side ready to tack it in. Not exactly my most beautiful work, but I gotta fit a steering rack in here one way or another. Every once in a while I get lucky. These are lock nuts inside the frame here. And this one was easy enough to get to the tap handle. But the one over there had a whole bunch of stuff in the way that wouldn't work. By dumb luck, it was quarter inch drive for the tap itself. Stuck a socket on there with a Torx to get inside the hex and made my own tap handle. If you squint, it's mint. Okay, I think this is the final engine mock up, and it should only have to come back out for wiring. Uh, I got to do the headers, put my 90s on here. Okay, the relocated engine mounts are totally done. And now we're on to steering, fitting that steering rack where it needs to be. Okay, moment of truth here. This better fit with the new engine mounts. <clears throat> it should, though. I took a bunch of measurements and as long as I can measure worth of shit, be okay here. All right, here we go. It is definitely going to be tight to that header. Maybe a little bit of an angle. So 
in the Camaro, this is damn near vertical. And actually, I do have room for my steering shaft through there. Because the shaft part itself is pretty thin. Yeah, looks like it'll be decent. I'll put my control arms in and make sure my measurements are good to my tie rods. All right, this is big here. So this stuff is all just tacked in. I got to do final welding, but there's my steering rack mount, my bracing that helps with the subframe being chopped up. I'm gonna cut, gonna weld the piece back in that I chopped out of here before. We're in decent shape. Look at all the fireflies we got. I brought this whole thing back home so I could weld it up with my 220 welder instead of that 110 my old man's got. Um, got it all sort of clearanced up. None of this stuff should tear the accordion boot on the rack now. Um, and I think we should be in pretty good shape. I bought a whole bunch of different bolts from McMaster because the factory bolts had a big shoulder on them. And uh, that was going to get in the way of the boot and whatnot. I want to make sure I got plenty of clearance there. Don't want that stuff rubbing through. Finally did the finish welding on these little pieces here. So I used my C-clamp to get everything nice and tight, get good fitment. Um, close that off so there's some strength back there in the part that I cut off. And uh, nobody's going to call this pretty, but as long as it's functional, that's really all I care about. Okay, all my bolts came in. These are going to be my new engine mount bolts. And I got this collar for the steering column that should work pretty nice. But uh, Monday, I ordered from Speedway Motors for the uh, steering arms that I'm doing. I found something that's going to work better than the Cavalier stuff. Uh, ordered a Monday. They still hadn't shipped by Friday. I was like, what the hell's going on? So I called them and they're reorganizing their whole warehouse. So they're not going to ship until this upcoming Monday. So going to have to wait a little bit for that stuff. Look what I finally sourced here. Uh, it took forever to find one of these. I ended up getting it from my buddy in Rochester, Shane. Um, I got a few things from him, including my last Beretta. That was just a rolling shell primer POS. But uh, I did make it pretty sweet. And I do miss it right now, man.